everyone, happy new year from Korea. It is February 9th, so it is Solnar weekend. Basically, we have a four day weekend to relax. However, usually what you do is you go home to see your family in your hometown. And so my husband's family is in Busan. But the morning we woke up to get the tickets when they went on sale, um, there were 20,000 people in line ahead of us, even though we logged on right away. So yeah, we could not get those tickets. We are gonna go for an overnight trip to Chuncheon, which is right outside of Seoul. And we're able to go there completely by the regular subway lines. We just have to transfer twice and it takes about two hours and it's only 3,000 won. So we are about to pack and head out. The train times are messed up because of the holiday, so the times I checked for yesterday aren't reflecting today's times. Both of our trains are much later than I thought, so we're waiting at our first transfer. I think we have like five more minutes and the train will finally be here. She heavy? Yeah. Charlie's happy. So we made it in total, including waiting for the trains, walking, and taking the taxi. It took about actually three hours so we're a little tired um i'm having a coffee here at the airbnb because they have an espresso machine and we found a cute cafe but i am not paying seven thousand won for an americano so i'm gonna save some money and enjoy the place for a little bit before we have dinner wake me up do you know that song no Damn it. Give us another words. <laughs> Do you like my hair? My hair's short and I try to keep the curls going. So when I don't want to wear it down, I pull it up like this in the house. It looks like a pineapple. I wish there were two more people so we don't have to waste the space in mm -hmm. the other room. Then again, we're going to watch Hell's Kitchen tonight. So I feel like we get pretty into that <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else still watch Hell's Kitchen? If anyone were actually with us, they would be like, Can you shut the. Momo go shippo. Takarbi. Takarbi? Takarbi number one. Number one. Chuncheon is the number one. Chuncheon number one. But. Yeah. <laughs> Sung Hun Shin is. Usually when we take a trip, our itinerary is pretty heavy, but for Chuncheon, we're just eating the kamjabang, the potato bread, and getting dakarbi, and then gonna go hit up a mart and kind of enjoy the Airbnb for the night. Just because, like, we have Charlie with us, and the sun's setting, and it's cold. <laughs> so I think um, we just kind of wanted to get out of Seoul. And Chuncheon is known for the dakarbi, which can be spicy, can be. Uh, salt flavor, but basically it's just grilled chicken um, and 
the one that you might usually see is covered in cheese. Cornbread. Mm. It looks like the uh, looks like the corn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks like the corn. It's crispy outside and it's a little chewy. And in the middle, I don't know what that is. How does it taste? this one. You like this one better? Mmm. Mmm. You want to take uh, a couple to go? Mm-hmm. Do you ever miss working in the restaurant? Sometimes I do because... Why? Right, what, is, <laughs> why what is that face, baby? It's a long ass shift where you finish like 16 hour shift. You're talking with your coworkers after and, and having a beer, you know. After and, 16 hours, that's exactly yeah. what I want to do. And walking home and like it's just complete darkness. You know, everything is closed. Mm -hmm. Just walking home, right? Feels like you've done something. <clears throat> yeah, you've spent 14 hours of your day in a kitchen. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've also worked in the service industry, but I don't, mm -hmm. I don't miss it at all. The only reason I would go back is if mm. I wanted to actually learn a skill. For example, like yeah. working in a cafe and being a barista. Mm. But I feel like if you work in a good cafe that has like good machines and technique mm. and different types of drinks you can learn about, that would actually be a fun skill to learn. Then what would you want to do with that skill? Just apply it at home, make it for friends or, you know, and family, myself. Or just learn about different coffees. Because mm. I just drink coffee, but I, I don't actually understand coffee. I just know that I like a black or cafe latte, and that's pretty much all I drink. <laughs> <laughs> but for picking up a skill like that, you don't necessarily have to work in a, at a cafe. It'd you be helpful just, like, though, I think. Learn. And you get paid. So you get like, you're getting paid, you're learning on the job for yourself, something yeah. you're actually interested in. Yeah. You don't know. You, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand. Eight. It's nine. Mm. Yeah, nine o'clock. Wow. It's nine o'clock and I'm like ready for bed. We're gonna go watch Hell's Kitchen. Highly recommended. What are you recommending a show that's been around since 2005? <laughs> Cheers. See you in the morning. We woke up this morning and it was snowing, which is nice. I love, I love snow. Sungun hates it, but do you hate snow or do you just not like walking? I hate snow. All right, he hates snow. I like it. We're taking a little walk before we go grab our things at the Airbnb and get lunch. And then we'll head on the subway all the way back to our place. It'll probably take about two and a half hours, depending on the wait time again. For now, we're just enjoying a nice walk and the snow. It really reminds me of our old neighborhood. It's so pretty.
left our Airbnb and we had to call around because a lot of places are closed for the holiday. But we found this Japanese style curry place that is dog friendly as well. It's actually really popular and usually sells out, so it was a lucky find. But after this, we're just gonna head to the train station. Waiting for day's first light as the sky's about to ignite. How can I ever stay asleep this morning? How do you feel about Chuncheon? I mean, we didn't really see the the city that well because of the holidays and the dog. But mm -hmm. I definitely want to come back again sometime. What about that dakgalbi though? It was very good. It was dang the good. The best dakgalbi I've ever had. This made it to the train station so we're headed back to Seoul. Public transportation in Seoul is very affordable. It's, it connects super well. It's just obviously it's affordable for a reason. Um, when you're waiting for these lines it's not the most convenient thing versus getting on a KTX but unfortunately those tickets were sold out so we decided to try public transportation. Stop, it's not that bad. It's actually been pretty chill, right? 